Hi! How are you? Welcome to Art Ventures at Home. I'm Mrs. Grass from the studio at Gallery Nora. Thanks so much for tuning in. I'm glad that you're here, ready to create and learn something new today. I want to remind you where I'm normally teaching these classes. I'm usually at Gallery North, yeah, in Setauket. And when we re reopen, I hope that you come and join me for some face-to-face -face classes. But for now, I hope you're safe and well and creating at home. On the docket for today's lesson is Funny Films Cartoons. Yeah, it's a really clever uh, trick. And a good friend of mine, Mr. Grass, taught me how to do them. Let me show you what you need to get started. All right, first things first, what is a funny film? Have you ever heard of them? They're pretty old. They were part of the Popeye comic strips, yeah, or comic books. They were actually at the end of the comic books and you uh, would be able to cut them out and kind of create your own little version of a moving Popeye cartoon. Yeah, it's, uh, based on a, a really clever simple trick just a couple of cuts in the paper and you can slide a picture through those uh, cuts to make it look like the picture is changing in some way it's really easy peasy lemon squeezy let me show you how to make your own so for today's uh, funny films cartoon you're going to need a few things simple things you're gonna need some paper to draw on you can use computer paper or any kind of paper you have. I'll show you how to use it. You need a scissor. Make sure you're using a scissor that's the right size for your hands. You're gonna need some tape or glue. You can use glue too and something to draw with. Once you have your supplies, you're ready to go. Okay, so here's how it works. You have uh, what they used to call a stage and that would be one piece of paper where there'd be an image, a picture that didn't change in any way. And then you'd have some strips of paper that would slide through a hole in your stage to change the image on your stage a little bit. So you have to think long and hard about what you want to when, what you want to put on your stage. So I recommend that you watch this whole uh, demonstration, this whole lesson, and get a sense of how it would be made so that you could come up with your best idea. Uh, it could be a person and their, uh, it could be a face and their lips change or their mouths change every time you slide the paper through. It could be a fishbowl and the creature inside the fishbowl changes. It could be someone holding a plate and, uh, the items on the plate change, or it could be um, a robot or a, a monster. It really can be anything you want it to be. I am super excited about the fishbowl idea. So I'm going to draw out a fishbowl on my stage. And then I'm gonna show you what to do with this second piece of paper. All right, I have my fishbowl. Now I need to make two cuts in my fishbowl that go up and down from bottom to top, just two small slits. They should be the same size, best you can. Nobody's perfect, right? And they should um, expand the length of, the, like the size of the image you want or creature, or whatever you're putting there, a face, a lip, um, a saying, whatever. So I'm gonna fold this in half so that I can take my scissor and put a little bite with my scissor like that here and here. So that when I open it, I have two slits that I can slide a paper through. If they're not long enough, I can sneak my scissor in there and make them a little bit longer, okay? So that I can slide a piece of paper through. And then I'm going to cut my second piece into a couple of strips that are the same size. So I'm putting this one on top of this one and cutting. All right, so now I could take these two strips and I can glue them together or I can tape them together. I'm gonna tape them. Easy peasy, right? 
and I'm going to test and make sure they slide through these slits here. So I'm gonna one through this way and one through this way. And you can see it can slide through like that. Okay. And every time it slides through, a new creature will pop up on my strip and it'll look like there's a different creature inside my fishbowl. So now I get to design those creatures and I'm going to start by putting my strip in and uh, starting at the very beginning of that so that I know the boundaries of uh, where my creature should be and how big it should be. And then I'm gonna move the, uh, finish the drawing and move the strip a little more and put another and keep going all the way down until I have enough creatures to uh, be in my fishbowl. Alright, I'm done. These are the creatures I put on my little film strip. Okay. And when I go from the back of the fishbowl and slide this through my little cuts, then a different creature appears inside my fishbowl. Crab, octopus, seahorse couple shark, fishy, and electric eel. Yeah, you can make this as long as you want to. Go for it. See what sort of fun you can have making it. So I have a special guest with me. You know, uh, the, the expert on um, this project and the person who taught me how to make this um, Mr. Grass is here. Come here, Mr. Grass. <laughs> uh, you guys might remember Mr. Grass from our um, um, episode on writing uh, comic strips. Mr. Grass was a guest on that episode and I will uh, post it in um, the comments down below. I'll link it so that you can see that uh, episode if you'd like to learn more about comics. But for today, Mr. Grass has a really great um, uh, example of funny films. Um, do you have anything you want to share about funny films? Well, uh, these are really cool. I learned how to do these in college um, from a Popeye comic book. and. <laughs> Back in the day, or a long time ago, they would cut the backs out of the comic and cut the sides out and feed it through on their own so kids had like something to play with. Wait, stop. You did this in college. I did this in college. <laughs> did you go to art school? I went to art school, yeah. What did you major in? Illustration. <gasps> you mean you could do this for a living? Yeah, you could do this for a living, sure. Ah! You guys could go to college and make funny film comic strips. That's what I did. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, and what school did you go to? I went to the School of Visual Arts. School of Visual Arts. That's in Manhattan, guys. Yeah. So if you're interested in learning more about uh, becoming a professional artist, you should check out uh, SVA. Uh, so let's take a look at your funny films. I'd love to show okay. you. Okay. So what do you got here? So I so have on, like a little toy robot. On your robot. stage, you made a robot. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I kept the monitor face like open and I made my slits in the top and the bottom so he almost has like a monitor face mm -hmm. now you could you could make a TV monitor and have someone watching TV or you could have somebody playing video games you could have a fishbowl like you did you could have a plate and switch the food out yeah I said that yes it... <laughs> something that you could you know alternate or change every now and then or you could put all the strips in order and make it kind of like a cartoon um, and you know, you could change the strips anytime you want. So this one I thought it'd be cool to start off with this robot. And here he is, asleep. Oh, now he's playing a video game. 
Oh, he's not doing so good. Game over. Oh, that's all right. Oh, what's wrong? Oh, you're making a funny face at me? Hi. Well, hello. Why are you sad? Low battery. Oh, you're just kidding. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, that's really clever. You can make it a story. Very different from mine. See how different they can be? And Mr. Grass did something interesting with his. He took a piece, piece of regular computer paper and he just cut um, uh, his strips out from either side. It was from one side and the other. And then he used the middle piece as his stage. I didn't do that. I showed you with two pieces of paper. One piece was the stage and the other piece I cut to make my strip. So practice um, making it however you think is best, but either way works. I have a tip. What's your tip? I have a tip. When I first did this, my line here wasn't long enough to fit this. Mm -hmm. So I just cut it a little bit longer than I needed so I had more room. All right, thanks Mr. Grass. <laughs> I hope you had the best time learning a little bit about the history of the Funny Films comic strip and the um, how to make one and make your own. And I hope you enjoyed my special guest, Mr. Grass, the expert on all things funny. Uh, please <laughs> tag us with what you're making. Uh, share with us in this thread or um, you can tag us at Gallery North LI hashtag Art Ventures at home. Uh, if you're watching from YouTube, please hit like and subscribe. Then you can keep up to date with m our most recent free content. We uh, are offering free art lessons Monday through Friday currently. So check it out. Uh, and you can see the uh, back catalog of uh, episodes on our YouTube channel called Gallery North. If you are feeling really good about giving back uh, and you'd like to help Gallery North out, you can do that by visiting our website or you could become a member. Yeah! Uh, if you become a member, you could take uh, um, advantage of the many privileges and uh, benefits of being a member and you can find out more information on our website www.gallerynorth.org. It's there. You can also learn a little bit more about our virtual summer program, Art Ventures. So, that being said, thanks for tuning in. I can't wait to see the things that you make. It melts my heart when you share your art. And uh, don't forget, when you create, you feel, feel great. great. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye.